What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're looking good. Hope everything is great. Today is the first day of 2024. I'm loving it. How y'all loving it? Y'all loving it? Y'all feel brand new? Y'all have any, you know, stuff y'all got going on? Um, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing a vision board. So, you know, uh, probably later on today because it's, it's the 31st, the morning of the 31st. So I know when this comes out, it will be the first. So, but um, we're, I'm doing some, uh, I'm doing a vision board with, with a couple of my friends. So, you know, Y'all have any resolutions out? Is it resolutions? Is it resolutions? Resolutions, right? Any goals? I, you know what, fucking, let's just say goals. Any goals for the 2024? Do y'all think y'all can meet it? Y'all gonna be disciplined enough to really meet it? Do y'all think y'all have the ability to? Uh, one for me, and this is pretty obvious, grow this channel. Get at least decently big. Like, get, we, we ain't gotta be too big, but we can get, we can be decently big. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that's, that's the goal for this channel. You know what I'm saying? Just to continue growing. You know, continue to see a lot of you guys in the comments. You know, just I can't wait. And I I recently saw in some of the comments that you know y'all saw the uh, the um I think it's the Monster House, y'all. If you've been here for that long, oh my god, my god, this channel has changed, hasn't it? It's gone through some changes and I think this is going to be the final change. Hopefully, unless there's, you know, better stuff going on, but uh, this is a cleaner change, right? Rebranded it, made it look nice. Ew, ew. I love it. Hope you love it. Um, and I remember seeing somebody say in the comments, you know, react to some movies. I'm going to attempt to and I'm going to try to because I still need to do it with Saw. I ain't forget. Uh, it's just how I'm going to do it and also the copyright because that is going to be an issue to get around. That's going to be hard to get around because I see people react to things on their channels and stuff and they have a certain amount of clips, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that's just going to be a hard thing to uh, get around. But um, I'm still going to be here. I'm, I'm still going to try. I'm still going to attempt, try to do a movie, yada, 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 and, and try to see if we could do something with that. I'm going to attempt. Okay. We're going to attempt. Um... But today, I'm rambling. I do apologize. Uh, you know, just want to see what y'all doing. See what's up. Well, how, how y'all days going? How, how y'all day going? You know what I'm saying? How y'all day going? It's going good? Beautiful day? Lovely. Today, we're going to be doing an Am I the Asshole? Because um, it, it seems like it's just taking up a lot of this channel. Like, y'all love it. I love it. I love reading it. I'm getting better at reading. I remember some people did say in the comments, you know, I'll try to see if I can read a little bit quicker. I'm getting better at that. I promise. I will get better. I I make sure I clarify that at the beginning of the videos I'm not the best reader but I do plan on getting better if I'm gonna be doing these I know like people don't like the stops and the pauses and stuff like that I don't like it either I don't but it I don't really want to go through the process of cutting and editing which I might if I still keep doing it I might just like cut and edit some stuff but you know try to make it to, to take out a lot of that breaths and the you know all that stuff I'm gonna try, I might I might do that but I'm, I'm also gonna try to see if I can just do better with reading in general so, um, today we're going to be doing at least about three of these because it seems like that's a pretty consistent amount that I like to do. Pretty much three, maybe four at max, but you know, three usually. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I feel like I've just been rambling a lot. I'm rambling a lot. So my apologies. Let me go ahead and get into this. Am I the asshole? Cause you just might be. All right. Here's the first one. Am I the asshole for making my daughter leave because my husband is attracted to her? That is a definitely a question. I, 55 female, have been married to my husband and my daughter's stepdad, 63 male, for four years. My 23-year-old daughter and I have a complicated relationship. How complicated? She has been diagnosed with disassociative identity disorder. She has a lot of trauma from watching me and my husband a horrible marriage go down and was bullied in school. When she told me she was being bullied by peers, are they really her peers? My view that all children are innocent really tied my hands because I told her that if I said anything to them, I would be an adult harassing a child, which yes, that is a fact. However, you could say something to the school or something. I don't know. I mean, you know, I know some kids don't like that, but it's like, really what else is there? Let's be honest. But um, I don't see how the two coincide, but let's see. She has blamed me for that ever since. She's 23 years old right now. She still blames me for that? Let's get into it. Let me continue. I have an issue with not continuing. And keeps referring to this one time where the kids at school called her trash. Damn. Due to the fact that she wasn't taking care of her hygiene due to depression. 
part, not all, of my response was telling her to take a shower and buy her new clothes. The bullying finally ended with an expulsion and a suspension for the rigging leaders. Damn, she said, we, what are they, the mafia or some shit? She still throws the fact that a school clinic volunteer told her that if she was their child, have a permission to, she would have a permission to punch back if administrative didn't do anything. Okay, so I'm making the assumption that the mother did maybe go to administrative administrators or whatever. I assume I'm making the assumption because obviously if they didn't do anything, yeah, punch the fuck back. Maybe maybe a good little punch would help. I'm t I'm I'm assuming they mean physical, right? We're coming to the conclusion they meant physical. I thought they're having her live with me. I assume she's not living with her while she finishes school and gets a job would help heal some childhood wounds if my second husband and I molded a healthy relationship. Sounds good. However, my daughter now doesn't get along with my husband. She's a very introverted, creative person who likes immersing herself in escapism. I, okay, I'm gonna be very, side comment. I never knew how to say that word. I remember hearing a song by somebody, who was it? I don't remember the name. But I love the freaking song, but I never knew what that song actually meant. Not the song. Scratch that. The word. I, I never heard the word before. Or or I think I have, but like I've never like seen it spelt. So I, I know. Apologies. Side rant. Coming back to the story. So she'd get annoyed if she was sitting eating alone and my husband would sit across from her and eat saying she ate later so she could eat alone. Um, do you not eat in your room? Do they? Not, do you not have a room at, at your mother's house? It's just a question, I'm curious. However, my husband started acting distant from me and my daughter, complained that his eyes lingered for too long. She got very angry and there was a lot of shouting and slamming of doors. Finally, my husband admitted he's attracted to her and it's, it's, her, mm, it's hard to be around her all day said she was walking temptation and said that's why he was avoiding sex with me what the actual fuck um i have so many thoughts in my head let me continue let me continue i was so upset to hear this i don't blame my daughter for this as you shouldn't but at the same time, the situation has become unbearable. Something would have to give. Okay. And I couldn't collect my thoughts with both of them still being in the house. So you asked both of them to leave, right? Scratch what I just said. You asked him to leave, right? The silent pauses are for a reason. You asked him to leave, right? Let me continue. So I gave my daughter money to stay at an extended stay hotel and asked her to utilize her college's emergency financial and housing resources they have for students in need. She responded by storming out and telling me, telling my ex who is now circling social media, using it to paint me as the villain of all villains. The actual fuck. I'm not abandoning my daughter. What? Bombastic sight, oi! Squeeze me! <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I, mm, mm. I'm not abandoning my daughter. Uh, mm, 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 mm. She qualifies for those resources anyway since my ex is unemployed. Mm. And we are in substantial debt. Correct up that substantial debt. I just need time to process the situation and don't want to leave my house to stay with my daughter when I have a marriage to figure out whenever, whether or not to save. Am I the asshole? Yes. 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 We're all in agreement. Thank you. Okay, I just want to make sure because um I, th I thought I was alone for a second. Um. Um. Okay. So the fact that okay, let's let's go back to the beginning. So she's holding a little bit of grudge because you know it, it didn't feel like you really cared that much that she was getting bullied. Yada yada. Okay, she's twenty three. She's gonna eventually get over it. She'll try. You're trying to grow a, a bond, a good relationship. 
cool. Your husband is now having wandering eyes at your child. Though she is of legal age, whatever, it's still your child. She's not doing anything, it seems like. It seems like he's doing something. Though it is not cheating, he's now admitting to you that he's having wandering eyes. I know for some people, they would want to make it work. Cool. But how would you do that? Because the only thing I can think of is like, I don't know, maybe therapy or something. I, I don't I don't know. Or, or my option. It's just me. Cough, cough. Divorce. I feel like that's a pretty simple answer right divorce it's like he's admitting to like wanting to have sex with your job with your daughter that, that's at least what i'm taking from it maybe that's not a fact but that's at least what i'm taking from it it seems like he is in admitting that he wants to have relations if not sexual relationships with your daughter because his eyes are lingering so divorce or if you're going to talk about it maybe marriage counseling or something I, I don't I don't see why she had to leave in this instant I, I don't see that I don't see why she would have to dip and leave and whatnot because your husband her stepfather is having wandering eyes or at least him leave get his shit together be like, okay, you're having wandering eyes. Okay, I'm going to need you to leave. Get your shit. Think about it. Get your get your stuff together. Come back to me when you want me now, okay? Or, or again, simple answer. So this is a very simple divorce. Could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You have options, but I don't think the daughter needed to leave. I, in my opinion, yes, an asshole. I don't think the daughter, the daughter needed to leave in that process. I don't. It's just me. It's just me. But those are my thoughts. Let's go on to the next one. Am I the asshole for going home after my in-laws excluded me from dinner at a restaurant? Mm, maybe, but no, I'm very curious. You, they excluded you? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, maybe in a sense of like, I don't think you're the asshole. Like if you wanted to dip and go home, it seems about right. But let's see what's going on. I, 26 female, went on a family trip with my in-laws two weeks ago. I don't know what M I, I don't know what M I L means. If somebody could help me um, figure that out. I'm very terrible when it comes to shorthand, y'all. I, I feel old. I'm not that old. I'm only 25, about to be 26 soon. But when it comes to shorthand, I don't know all of them except for the basics like LMAO or Laugh Out Loud or BRB, TTYL, you know, stuff like that. I grew up in the Kim Possible area, all right? So, you know, I just need a little bit of help. Um, MIL always thought that I am a bit ignorant and backward and that just because I come from lower class family compared to hers that I have no etiquette. Oh, geez. Oh my God, that sounds terrible. All right. After we arrived to the hotel, they arranged to visit a fancy restaurant for dinner. My husband avoided telling me, and I learned it last minute after he had already got dressed. I also, <laughs> I asked where he was going, and he said he and family were going to eat out, but I wasn't invited because the mom assumed that since I wouldn't be familiar with the food and how to eat it there at the restaurant i'm so sorry y'all i know these pauses and stops are not cool then it's better for me to stay in and eat at the hotel that's fucked up i didn't argue i just let him go then i packed and took the first flight home sounds about right yeah they kind of just it, in my opinion it just said uh oh, bitch you're poor you're not gonna know what this feels like so we're not just gonna invite you eat at the hotel yeah i would have left too I would have, I sure as hell, but I would have left and been single at that point. I'll have a good day. He freaked out and called me many times. And when I found out that I went home, he blew up and called me ridiculous and irrational to do this. Even said that I acted in an ungrateful manner and embarrassed him in front of his family after he literally begged to have me go on the trip. We argued and he started giving me silent treatment after he came home. Moreover, his family are indirectly criticizing me and on Facebook about what I did. Did I overreact? 
Edit one, they didn't even mention what type of food they ordered. Edit two, the family didn't plan on having me come along, but my husband, like he said, begged them to invite me. Mmm, this isn't just with me. My, I don't know what this is, B-I-L-S, girlfriend wasn't invited as well. Help me with the shorthand, I'm sorry. Edit three, they paid for my expenses, so I didn't want to act like I'm be- being needed or something. Okay, so that seems like that's all the edit. This is the entire story. Um, In my opinion, I don't think you're the asshole. I, I feel like you did what you needed to do, because I'm sorry, it, it seemed like the family plus the boyfriend, I'm including him in this, just thinks that you're poor and you are not classy enough. That that's that's how it's coming off a little bit. Like, bro, apparently he begged for the girlfriend to come on the trip if I'm not getting this mixed up. And it seemed like they didn't even really care for her to come or not. They didn't really give a fuck. So Oh, yeah, no. I don't think you're the asshole. I think they're the assholes. I, they just seem bougie as fuck. I can be a little bougie sometimes, but, like, I'm I'm, I'm in the hood. So it's like, no, 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 no. I, I can act a little bougie and I can act a little, mm, 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 but I ain't better than other people. Like, no, no, don't. Mm, that's just ugly, in my opinion. So, in my opinion, no, you're not the asshole. That That's just... Yeah, I feel like she did the right thing. Like, I'm sorry, if y'all, you know, he had to beg to get me to come, like, actually get me to be able to get there, like, because they didn't want me there. They didn't want me to come to dinner. Yeah, I might as well dip, because what's the, what the fuck? Like, okay, you got me there, but shit, you want me to stay here, like, stay at the hotel, eat whatever at the hotel, and, like, you know, y'all eat at this fancy restaurant? Excuse me? And then... Making all those statements <laughs> that I probably wouldn't know how to eat, wouldn't know what to order, this, that, and the third. Like, but it's a restaurant. You get there, you figure out what you're going to eat, especially if you don't know the restaurant. I, I mean, I think, I don't think she's the asshole. I, I think they're the asshole. They can go fuck themselves. Next. Okay, so this is going to be the last one right here. Am I the asshole for not giving my girlfriend, 25 female, my dinner after I had already bought her dinner? Mmm, for not giving my girlfriend my dinner after I had already bought her dinner. I assume you bought it and you didn't order it and she ordered it. I could be completely wrong. Hmm, let's see. My girlfriend, 25 female, and I started 29 male, live in New York City. And there's a popular app where you buy leftovers restaurant food. What? There's an app for that leftover restaurant food? So it's cheap, right? It's leftovers, right? It's cheap. Or, 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 or is like, like this is the food that they have like left over like you know like everybody's gone you know but then they still got some food that's pretty fresh or whatever and eventually they're gonna throw it out but so but 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 some people just order okay i assume that that's it restaurants advertise surprise bags at a reduced price in order to reduce food waste okay cool the customer doesn't know what they're getting until they pick up the food uh okay um but the cost at least three times lower than the normal menu price E.g., if an inter, if an entree is usually twenty four, the restaurant is allowed to charge eight dollars at most for it. Okay, these are hit or miss. Sometimes you get exactly what you want at a great, greatly reduced price, but sometimes you get something that you otherwise wouldn't have picked from the menu. All right, I'm very curious to see where this goes. Uh, I did not know there was an app for that. Do we have one here? I mean, I'm very curious. I ordered a surprise bag from a barbecue place that I was picking up on the on the way home yesterday. I texted my girlfriend asking if she wanted one, but she said no. She wasn't in the mood for barbecue. However, there was an Indian restaurant right next door that also had a surprise bag available on the app. So she ordered one of them. The barbecue was $12 and the Indian food was $10. Okay, so these are some pretty cheap prices. I love that. About 22 and some change in full. Okay, all right, cool. When I got home, I unpacked the meals so to see what we got. 
I was psyched about my bag. Uh, since I paid $12, I knew the value had to be at least 36, but honestly, the platter looked a lot more expensive. This was a hit. Keep in mind that we live in the West Village, which is the most expensive neighborhood in the most expensive city in the US. So $36 for one meal is a pretty typical, it's pretty typical, god damn. There were burnt ends, ribs, pulled pork, baked beans, potato salad, bread, onions, and pickles. Damn, that is beautiful. My girlfriend, however, was less lucky. Her surprise bag only had six different types of soup, half of them being variations on cauliflower soup. She was disappointed to say the least. She asked if she could share my barbecue and I said, no, I'm hungry. I offered to buy you some already and you said no. So I'm doing, I'm going to devour it. She got mad and called me the asshole. I told her if she didn't want soup, she should have ordered something specifically instead of using the surprise bag app. I'm sorry, y'all. I then told her to just order something off a food delivery app. She said she did not want to spend the money. Another bit of context is I make a lot more money than her and pay mm, and pay all of her rent, pay all of our rent. Mm. I know she's running a bit of a lean financial picture right now. Mm, okay. I then tell her that if she doesn't want to pay for delivery, I'll walk to the bodega on our street and can buy her something something there all right cool another bit of context is that we live on a fourth floor walk up oh my god with no elevator god damn and she broke her leg in a car accident a month ago god damn so it can be tough for her to get around she says she mm, she says she the grill is probably okay that is not a good sentence probably off there and all she wants is a hot meal. I tell her she has soup. Anyway, she thinks I'm the asshole. But in my defense, oh, we got defense. Okay, cool. I offered to buy her barbecue to begin with, she, which she declined. Okay. She picked out her own food and I grabbed it for her on my way home. When she wasn't satisfied, I suggested two solutions, either ordering something from an app or going to a bodega. So Reddit, am I the asshole? <sighs> My opinion? <sighs> oh gosh, y'all are gonna hate me. I don't think he's an asshole. I mean, he got a good bit of stuff, but how, the, the portions, what are the, I apologize, y'all. This is my phone just ringing. I'm about to put this on mute for a second. <laughs> apologies. Um, my thoughts, y'all might not like it. I think obviously there's some stuff that goes into this, but like knowing the context, or at least from his perspective, the context of what's going on. No. I know for some people it's gonna be like, yeah, he's the asshole. And I can see where y'all say that, but I think for me, because of how blunt I am, how I'm, I'm just very straightforward, closed mouths don't get fed. You know how the situation works out. You know what goes on. I don't know. Like uh, he got a good meal because he wanted that place. She wanted this place. He could have even offered to get some specific from a different place. It seemed like she didn't want that. She just wanted this. Boom, bam, boom. She got it. But the thing is, it seems like they both know how this app works. That there is not always a 100% chance she's going to get what she wants. But the thing is, if you're going to get what you want, like, I don't know. For me, I'm going to look at the restaurant and say, if, if I can at least stomach most of the things on that restaurant, then I'll probably do something like this. It's just... <sighs> okay, looking at it from both sides. Yeah, the asshole for not sharing some of his food. It seems like he has a decent amount of food. Like, like what did it say? Uh, let's make sure. Uh, the burnt ends, uh, ribs, pulled pork, baked beans, potato salad, bread, onions, and pickles. That sounds like a whole beautiful meal. But the thing is, how much of each is there? Like, 36 apparently is apparently how much it usually costs within his area for, like, a meal. So, all that. I'm very curious to see how much is on that plate. 
Okay, how big is it? Okay, is it for one person? Because I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm greedy, okay? I, if I have a significant other, I'm going to be honest, I would rather just go somewhere else and get you some, your own shit because I'm probably not going to want to share. Okay, I might share here and there, but mm, that sound delicious as fuck and I'm probably not going to want to. Okay, that's just me. But I can understand, you know, some people do share their own relationship, yada, yada. For me, I'm... Mm, they gonna know ahead of time. I'm not the sharing kind. I will get you something if you want something, but I'm I don't, I'm I'm a fat ass. I like to eat. Okay, probably not gonna share. But um, yeah, it's just uh, this for most people. I can see, and I think even on here it says he's the asshole. My opinion, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, obviously, could he at least share something from his plate? I guess, but. It seemed like it's dinner time, if I'm not mistaken. Restaurants and these are surprise bags from these restaurants and whatnot. I'm not gonna want to share them. Oh, it is dinner time. It says in the title, my lord. Mm. I don't. I, objectively, technically, he could share and not be the asshole. Me, I'd be the asshole. I'm sorry. I don't think he's the asshole in this one. It's it's just. That's just personally for me. I know for y'all it might be a little different. It'd be like, boy, if you don't just share, like, in, but like, it's, but there's soup though. There's different types of soups that you wanted, and you didn't want this replaced. So it's like, so uh, that's just me. My thoughts. I don't think he's an asshole, but that's just because also how I am a little bit. I I don't feel like sharing. I'm gonna let you know these places. There's that in a third. I'll get you something from there if you want it. But if you just want this surprise bag, whatever, yada yada, that's what we're gonna deal with. You're gonna eat what you eat. That's just me. That's just me. That's me. All right. Okay. So this was some really pretty decent stories. I'm not gonna lie. That last one. Um. I know that's gonna be a little bit mm, a little bit of a controversial topic. Maybe. I don't know because it's like I don't know. For me, I don't think he was that asshole. I know they say he's an asshole. I'm curious what these uh, comments are saying, actually. What are these comments saying? I'm not reading these long-ass comments. I'm reading the short ones. Broken leg, which is worse, at least with a broken foot. You can use those. <laughs> use those. The boat. The boot. A lot of time to take pressure off the... Yeah, no, 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 I want something small. Let me see what they got. Small. Oh, I wouldn't even do that to an acquaintance, much less my partner. What do you mean? Mm, to be honest, I bet if they had a cute dog, he'd have snuck that dog a bit, but not the girlfriend. Probably. The dog cuter. The dog adorable. Uh, if you laid her possibly crutches flat on the floor, they still... A lot of these have to do with the leg and stuff like that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm kind of... I, I didn't forget about the leg. I just didn't really care. They're on the fourth floor. She has a broken leg, but he did ask and all this stuff. And he's willing to do some other stuff. But he's not willing to give that food away. And I'm sorry. I stand on that. Okay. I'm not going to want to give my food. I don't care if it's my significant other. If it's my dinner food, it's my dinner food. I got that. It's a surprise bag. We both know the standards when it comes to it. You know what I'm saying? We both know how it's going to go. You got what you got. And I was willing to go down to the bodega and all that shit. You don't know if the, if the grill ain't working. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm willing to be the asshole in that one. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm willing to be the asshole. But uh, yeah, these were these were pretty good. I, I enjoyed some of these. I liked reading these. Uh, apologies for me stopping and all that stuff. Honestly, it took me like three to four times to film this. So my apologies. Because uh, I, I didn't want to keep stopping and starting and all that stuff. I will get better. Don't worry. If anything, I'm either I've done it or I haven't done it yet. I'm either going to stop and actually edit this and try to cut out some of the stuff. If not, then, you know, but I love you guys. Love every one of you guys. Um, uh, social medias. I didn't do that at the beginning. My bad. Social medias, JOKV and Oscar Creations. If y'all want to follow me on social medias, uh, JOKV and Oscar Creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter, and then Creations underscore reacts on Instagram. Um, posting a lot of my stuff on there as well. And then I also do have a Snapchat, but I don't really, I post here and there on my Snapchats. I post here and there on my Facebooks, but I don't really use them as much or use them to really, you know, so, but, uh, thank y'all for being here. Love every last one of you guys. Hope y'all are going to have an amazing 2024. This is the first day we starting off great. I think at least, <laughs> you know, so deuces.
pieces, Reese's Pieces. Bye-bye.